Hi students, welcome to English class. Today we'll begin with a new poem, The Patriot, written by Robert Browning. So about the poet Robert Browning. He was a famous poet of the Victorian age. And regarding the style of the poem, this poem is written in the form of dramatic monologue. And the entire summary of the poem is about the poet is recalling or the poet here picturizes the harsh realities of leaders who are misunderstood by the people. This poem narrates a particular uh, narrates the story of a particular leader who was given a warm welcome by the people one year ago and the same leader being convicted being convicted by the same public a year after so let's enter into the poem so about the poet i told you this poem is written by robert browning and it is in the form of dramatic monologue you know what's meant by dramatic monologue that is a dramatic monologue is a type of it's a style of poem in which the main character will be taking will be talking to himself in a dramatic manner that is there will be a, a story there and the main character will be narrating the story by himself monologue means a single person narration only one character will be there and throughout the person will be speaking and we will be me to hear and what the speaking a person is speaking will be something related to himself as such the outer scene of indifferent people is vividly felt here so uh here it is in the form of uh, the poet saying about his plight and uh, no one is interrupting in between it is only the poet speaking throughout and the back regarding the background of the poem that is every poem will be based on a particular incident or there will be a particular reason for the poet to write a poem right so what is said about this poem is that actually this poem is about the uh, entire uh, story revolves around a universal truth universal truth discussed here is about how much whimsical the public is you know what's meant by whimsical how much whimsical the public is whimsical means the mood and the character of the public changes in accordance with their own interest and their own it is subjected to various reasons or it keeps on changing it is not a permanent one maybe today the public is very loving and caring to you but we cannot expect the same tomorrow they might change it happens in almost all the political field that is a leader who is praised and respected much by the public will be discarded the next year or will be deserted by the same public after few years so it means that the interest of the public is based on their moods so that is what we call as whimsical so this poem speaks about those heroes of italy who tried to make the impossible possible on those days that is to say in detail on those days italy was ruled by austrians and they were quite unpopular so many italians tried to free their country but it was in vain and on those days italy witnessed the growth of various great leaders or great heroes who tried to do various impossibles to make impossible possible and one such leader was arnold of brescia but the patriot or this leader the arnold of brescia finally meets a tragic fate because of the changing desire of the common people that is once they glorified him a lot 
but later they thought that that is they they didn't feel a need to glorify him or they started uh, leaving him or deserting him and finally he meets a very bad or tragic death is it because of the fall done by him not exactly simply because the public they were insecure they wanted to change the leader they simply deserted him so for the poet or one of the harsh reality that the poet reminds or tells to the readers through this poem is that our life is uncertain maybe you will be given a warm welcome by the people today but you need not expect the people to be same always the same people might discard you one day that is the uh, entire summary of this poem so let's enter into the poem we know the name of the poem is the patriot written by robert browning it was roses roses all the way with myrtle mixed in my path like mad the house roof see the house roof seem to heave and sway the church spire's flames which flags they had a year ago on this very day the air broke into a mist with bells the old walls rocked with a crowd in cries had i said good folk near no east repels give me your son from yonder skies they had answered and afterward what else alack it was i who leaved the son to give it to give it my loving friends to keep not man could do have i left undone and you see my harvest what i reap this very day now a year is run there's nobody on the house tops now just a palsy few at the window sit for the best of sight is all allowed at the shambles gate or better yet by the very scaffold's foot i trow I go in rain, and more than needs, a rope cuts both my wrists behind, and I think by the feel my forehead bleeds, for they fling, whoever has a mind, stones at me for my year's misdeeds. Thus I entered, and thus I go, in triumphs people have dropped down head, paid by the world. what the what does the owl me god question now and shit to scot shall repay i'm safe so so dear students this poem is divided to six stanzas and to say about this poem as such it's divided to six stanzas and the first three stanzas reflects the feeling and accomplishment that the poet patriot has underwent the first three stanzas speak about the feeling and accomplishment the patriot has underwent and the last three stanzas it shows the unfortunate sentencing and the death of patriot so it is divided to six stanzas first three stanzas reflects the feeling and accomplishment that the poet has that the patriot has underwent and the last three stanza it is all about unfortunate sentencing and the death of the patriot so we'll begin with the first stanza so i told you it reflects the feeling and accomplishment that the poet that the patriot has underwent that is how he was welcomed by the public when he was declared as a leader as a leader how the public welcomed him how he was treated as a leader by the public it was roses roses all the way with myrtle mixed in my path like mad 
the house roof sweep seemed to heave and sway the church spires flame such flags they had a year ago on this very day so he's telling how much he was given welcome by the people by the public when he was uh when he was welcomed as a leader over there or when he was declared as a leader it was roses roses all the way he was given a warm welcome with roses by the public he was welcomed with flowers by the public with myrtle mixed in my path like mad not only roses there were also myrtles myrtle it's a type of sweet smelling flower myrtle it's a type of sweet smelling flower the house roofs seem to heave and sway not only that because the public on those days loved him a lot or he was considered as a hero by the public the house roof seemed to heave and sway heave and sway means it was all full with the people so it was heaving or one could sense the breath of the public who have gathered there that is the number of people who have gathered is that much on those days on that day the church spires flamed church spires meaning tall pointed structure of the church that is the topmost portion of the church the tall pointed structure of the church it flamed it was and on that uh, church fire one could find the flag fluttering <coughs> such flags they had there was a flag fluttering and it was just like flaming from over there the color of the flag a year ago on this very day and when did all this happen it happened one year ago on the same day one year ago on this very day all these things happened that is it was one year ago he was declared as a leader or he was elected as a leader and this was the type of welcome given by the public there how was he welcome he was welcome with flowers roses and myrtles and moreover many people gathered to have a glance on the newly elected leader as a result the house roofs were heaving or it was uh, filled up with the breath of the public moreover the entire roads and areas were decorated with flags and flowers in order to welcome the new leader and this new leader is recollecting all these which happened one year ago the air broke into mess with bells and yes students uh, we have few poetic usages here one is the church spires flame such flags they had church spires flame such flags they had can you guess the poetic usage here usage of ff or the same sound ff is repeated here what do we call that poetic usage as we call it as alliteration flame such flags they had again with myrtle mixed in my path like mad which is a sound repeated here with myrtle mixed in my path like mad the poetic usage again is m sound is repeated it is consonant sound so the poetic usage is alliteration the air broke into a mist with bells the old walls rocked with a crowd in cries had i said good folk mere noise repels but give me your son from your disguise they had answered and afterward what else so he is telling the air broke into a mist with bells so on that day when he was declared as a leader or when he was uh, welcomed as a leader by the public the air broke into a mess with bells he was given even it is not only with the flowers he was given welcome he was welcomed 
with bells also the air broke into a mist with bells one could hear the sound of bells giving warm welcome to the newly elected leader the old wall rocked with the crowd in cries old wall rocked it is not the wall breaking or rocking here it is the crowd shouting loudly to welcome the leader and it was echoed everywhere so the old walls rocked it was echo it was echoing with the cries and the shouts of the crowd then he is telling had i said then that day i i have said once good folk dear people my dear people mere noise repels simply you need not shout i hate simple cries or simply shouting shout uh, simply shouting but give me your son from the yonder sky so that day he might he said he says that i have told the people my dear people simply your noise repels noise repels means your noise is not at all attractive your simple noise simply crying and shouting doesn't seem very attractive to me but give me your son from yonder sky give me something or do for me something which is possible the best thing that is possible from your part that is do the best thing or uh, try to put the best out of yourself give me your son we know son is the ultimate or something which we can reach as a human being that is the ultimate uh, goal or the aim which one can have in the life so he is telling give me your son give me your son means uh, give me your ultimate strength from yonder sky put your best that is you can put the best out of yourself for the sake of a country then they had answered and afterward what else then people i told you they are uh, really whimsical at once uh, at one time they will uh, promote you a lot and at other and at other time they might desert you so la- the previous year or that year one year ago people were like fans or he add uh, the people were uh, supporting him a lot so out of their whim they asked to the leader yeah of course we are willing to give our everything to you and afterward what else do you need what else do you need from us we are willing to promote you and as a result we are willing to give whatever we have for you and then he is telling if i ask the people to give something that here they would have asked him what else do you desire what else do you want from us that is the last year because the public was supporting him blindly they were willing to give him whatever he demanded by the whatever he had demanded to them then and he is telling i'm sure that if i ask them to give anything more they would say if i ask them to bring the sun from the sky they will ask me back sir what else do you need maybe they will not bring the sun from sky but they are blindly supporting him so at that moment they would have asked him out of enthusiasm sir what else do you need so such a supporting public they were the previous year so the poet continues alack it was i who lead the sun who lead at the sun to give it to my loving friends to keep not man could do have i left undone and you see my harvest what i reap this very day now a year is run so he is telling a lack <coughs> a lack it is a sign of regret he is telling in a very uh, he is regretting about his past years and he is telling a lack it was i who leaped at the sun though i told the public to catch the sun or to do something impossible i told the public to uh, uh, simply stop shouting or he hate simple shouts and to do something impossible 
द पब्लिक एट दैट टाइम आस्ट एम वॉट एल्स शुड आई डू फॉर यू बट डि द पब्लिक डू फॉर एम नो ही इज शेलिंग ही इज रिग्रेटिंग एंड सेंग टू सेंग टू इन दिस ड्रामेटिक मोनोलॉग अलैक अलैस इट वॉज आई हु लीव्ड द सन लीव्ड द सन इट इज अ यूजेज विच मीन्स डूइंग समथिंग इम्पॉसिबल मेकिंग द इम्पॉसिबल पॉसिबल लीपिंग एट द सन लीपिंग मीन्स रीचिंग फॉर द सन रीचिंग फॉर द सन मीन्स ट्राइंग टू डू समथिंग विच इज impossible that is sun is our ultimate goal or aim or what we can reach in our life so he is telling alas it was not the public but it was i who believed at the sun who made the impossible possible in my country it was i who made the impossible impossible possible in the country it was i who believed at the sun this leaped at the sun it is based upon an old greek mythology or an old greek myth it tells about the tale of a character called icarus icarus had with the help of his wings he decided to fly up to catch the sun but what happened was he started reaching high he started flying higher and higher but later what happened was when he started flying higher and higher his wings which was attached with the help of wax started melting and thus he fell from great height it is same in the case of a patriot also because he thought of he was very over ambitious finding the great support given by the public so he tried to turn many impossible things possible in life and in doing so finally what's happening to him is that he has made to fall from dreadful height he has made to fall from dreadful height so he's telling is regretting he know that he tried to turn many impossible possible in his life so he's telling it was i who lived at the sun Leave the sun. It is a usage meaning making the impossible possible in life. To give it, my loving friend Shiki, was it for his own selfish needs? Selfish needs? No, for the sake of his country, he had tried to turn all the impossible possible for the sake of his country. Not man could do. So he's telling, not man could do. No. nothing what the man could do have i left under under i have turned almost all the things which is possible for the man in my country i have not left anything which is possible for the man to do i have not left anything under i have tried all the possible things which is possible for my country then he's shelling and you see my harvest now you look at my flight you look at my harvest what i am reaping now what i reap this very day now a year is run and that too just a year after i have even lived at the sun and i have tried to gain, make the impossible turn possible for my people but now you look at the harvest what i am gaining here that too with a great regret is telling now i uh, this very year now a year is run it is only a year since i am appointed as a leader so within a single year the people have become fed of me uh, the people have deserted me for no reason they have deserted and now you look at my harvest you look at what i reap so this third stanza is giving it is revealing the reality after all the initial joys of being elected as a leader he is telling or he is telling about the true nature of the public public we simply speaking public we simply promoting whenever he asks public to do when they were the great fans of this uh, leader whenever he asks the people to do something they will say of course sir we will do that what else do you need from us but did they do anything for the leader no 
they were simply speaking loud in reality it was a leader who lived at the sun it was a leader who made all the impossible turn possible for his country so that is what is discussed in this third stanza the third stanza depicts a harsh reality which the leader undergoes after the initial joys of being appointed as a leader and dear students remaining three stanzas we will discuss in the next class remaining three stanzas i told you it is about the unfortunate sentencing and his death so now we have learned about he being appointed as a leader and the realities he is made to feel face after the initial joys so till we meet again goodbye